By the dawn of the new millennium, Bungie has established itself as an innovative game studio. But when they debut Halo at E3 in 2001, the game falls short of expectations. A lot of working pieces about Xbox showing at E3 could have been a lot better. There's nothing we can do. Some of it was that the hardware wasn't ready. There are different expectations set upon a console game than PC game. And gamers wondered if Halo is just hype. But Bungie proves them wrong. Halo is released on November 15th of 2001, and it takes the gaming world by storm. So when Halo arrived, we didn't even know if the console was going to be successful. We didn't even know if the ground we were standing on was going to be there the next day. But the console took off, the game took off. I don't think Xbox will be as big as it is with Halo. Xbox has been successful. I mean, 14 million units and, and many millions of different types of games. Halo is pretty much at the center. Well, I wanted to make sure we had great music that came in when music was needed. And when music wasn't needed, that there was a totally convincing, realistic, or even surrealistic ambient and sound design supporting the whole thing. The single player game was really incredible. I knew that people were going to fall in love with it. The epic nature of the whole thing. It's a beautiful game and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> people would get together and they would play the game with their friends and they'd develop and build rivalries with real people. Halo becomes a nationwide phenomenon. It sells 10 million units in only eight months and is adopted by the world cyber games. Professional gamers play for cash prizes and it becomes the must have Xbox game. But while Bungie celebrates, Alex Seropian decides to leave the company he helped create. Well, I, I did want to go back home to Chicago, and Bungie had done great stuff. Halo had been really successful, and the team was really nicely set up at Microsoft. Had a lot of respect from the people you know, around us at Microsoft. The team was able to uh, and is able to you know, do anything. They were in a really good place. I felt as though I could go back home and and they would do really well. And I, I, I think they're doing great. Seropian will go on to form Wide Load Games. Meanwhile, Bungie starts work on Halo 2. Halo 1 was a, essentially a nine month crunch. And so everybody was exhausted and we kind of scattered all across the world and then came back a month or two later to talk about what we were gonna do next. When you've got a game that's so big as Halo, the sequel is going to be, you know, so hotly anticipated. The core value in Halo 2 when comparing it to Halo is that you should pick it up and you should know what to do and it should feel like Halo. Every time you added something, we have to play around with that until that feels like a natural part of Halo, until jumping on a ghost and knocking the pilot out feels like Halo and it feels logical and natural and we hope we've done that. A lot of what we tried to make uh, different about Halo 2, a lot of it, the focus really was not on making the gameplay different. The gameplay in Halo 1 was a lot of fun. We wanted to expand on that gameplay. Halo 2's appearance at E3 2003 is the exact opposite of the first game's unpolished debut. The public is awed by the sequel. But well, I just saw the preview for Halo 2, which is awesome. And I've got a bounty on his head. <laughs> Take you down, Perkins! Is... And it becomes one of the most anticipated games of all time. In 2004, Microsoft reveals the release date for Halo 2. I got your release date right here. November the 9th. And promises that the sequel will support Xbox Live. I know that's going to be keeping us awake nights till November 9th. The coming release of Halo 2 is teased with a very unique marketing ploy. I love bees. Started as a website with a corrupt front page. And it just went in through the ilovebees.com homepage and nested there. We did it, obviously it's a marketing tool. It created a stir and people got interested. Halo 2 November 9th, baby, you remember the day it's going to be a national holiday. <laughs> Bungie makes good on their promise. We're just moments away from midnight. The game is released on November 9th, 2004, and it's a nationwide event. We're on our 
earth are you doing here? Because I want to play it at midnight tonight. I'm like so pumped. Yo, we got nothing else better to do. It. And I'm done with school. I have no life. It's all about Halo. <laughs> 2.4 million copies are sold in its first day, bringing in 125 million. No other game does this. Halo 2 grosses more than Hollywood's biggest movies, but Bungie's biggest game is yet to come.